Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, I'm Christina from Leafy Lester and today I want to build my first ever terrarium. I have no experience whatsoever but my boyfriend recently got me this glass vase and I thought it's a nice way to spice up the plant hobby a little bit, try out something new once in a while and then see how it goes get some experience and then maybe later I can build a bigger terrarium in the future. So that's what we're going to do today. With this, let's get going. watching two or three videos on building terrariums I feel more than qualified to dive in myself <laughs> but honestly I have a few supplies here already I might need to get some more from the store but for start I have this big glass base with a cork lid as my vessel then I have some moss that came back to life just some sphagnum moss some miscellaneous little figurines and a rock from I think Cyprus or something from vacation. For terrariums you can go two ways. Either you have a solely practical terrarium which serves the purpose of propagating plants or nursing plants that need high humidity or you can build a very aesthetically pleasing terrarium with some sort of landscape or theme you have going on in there. So today I want to try the more landscapey, pretty and aesthetic route. For propagations I mainly use my plastic prop boxes which are not pretty but very functional. Now let's talk about the most important thing, the plants. So aside from the little moss that I have here I want to put in some plants. So I will go around my propagations, see if I have anything fitting that I feel like would fit the conditions that will be in this glass vase. It has to be a plant that can handle a lot of humidity and moisture. So for example, succulents wouldn't be the best fit for this project. I only found a few things because I tend to have plants that grow big or that are climbing or hanging that grow incredibly fast. And I want something that I can maintain inside this glass vase that I can cut back a little bit without uprooting the whole thing and propagating and all of this stuff. I just wanted to look nice and put together for as long as possible. One of the most classic plants you can put in terrariums I think is this little fern right here. It's an asparagus fern. These are absolutely adorable and I feel like they give this illusion of a tree or a tall bush. I also thought about putting it a piece of my begonia amphioxus so I have quite a tall specimen right here. It stays relatively small and it has very special leaves with red dots. I think the conditions in the ways would be perfect for this one too. I'll just have to see if it once again fits the aesthetic. I think this is a pretty good start on the plants but I am not satisfied yet. So I think it is time to get to the salon. I mean garden center. Let's go. back with the plants. Uh, I didn't get a lot because I think less is more sometimes but I found this Cella Ginella for $1.99 which is a steel. It's really nice and bushy and I think it will create some good texture in the terrarium. And then I got a classic the Fitonia with the white veins. This one loves constant moisture because it is quite a drama queen if you don't water it the leaves will get all like 
set and then as soon as you water it it will perk up again you probably have seen it a lot of times already and with this i have my three final contestants i don't want to plan too much since i don't know what i'm doing anyway and i'll have to go with the flow see how it all turns out and then decide later on as a first step, we need to create a bottom drainage layer so the excess moisture can collect at the bottom. For this, you could use different kind of stuff, just some rocks or gravel you can find. I have some aquarium stones right here. You could probably also use lacquer if you have this or maybe some orchid bark, some coarse orchid bark. But I feel like this one would probably mold or just deteriorate quicker than stone, obviously. Maybe you can rather opt for some mineral substrate. I'm going to go with the gravel today. I'm just going to fill it inside. So next I saw them put in a little net so the soil that I'm going to put on top won't fall into all of the gravel. Okay, so the only net that I have is pretty small, but I'll try to use this at least, just so it's covered a little bit. Now for mixing the soil, I will be using my typical aeroid mix, but I decided I want to mix in some succulent mix as well, because there's a lot of sand in there and I think I have seen in one of the videos that sand is good for terrarium, so I'm going to do that. I'll just add a little scoop of some cactus mix. The goal is basically to provide a lot of aeration but also some good moisture retention. There are also some little fertilizer, Osmocote fertilizer balls in there. I think I'm going to start with a very thin layer of soil and then I will try to figure out where I want to situate the plants. One of the tips that I saw in my research was to start with the biggest plant. So I guess I'm going to start with this one and then just arrange the rest around them. Okay, so this is my first layer. And I guess with this we are off to the landscaping part. And I have this terrible feeling that this terrarium will turn out like terrible. Oftentimes when you do something for the first time, you have this immaculate vision in your mind. You want it to look like those Pinterest worthy, sophisticated moss terrariums, for example, with like waterfalls. But then you get going yourself and it just does not turn out this well. It almost seems like you have to practice something to be really good at it. Let's put it in. Now we'll just lightly press it in for now. Honestly, I'm a little bit like scared to start. Let's just do it. It's, it's fun. It's supposed to be a fun little project. Moving on with the asparagus fern, I removed some of the soil that was on the roots. I hope it fits. <laughs> Barely. Okay. I think it has to be more in the middle. Already seeing uh, some issues here. And I'm quite worried if I'm going to be able to fit everything in. I mean, it looks cool. Let's uproot those plants first, just so I'm more free with the placement. Oh, these are some nice roots. Okay, so I think I flatten it out quite a bit. Let's just see. Okay, also nice roots. So I do want one big one. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so this will be the big one into two smaller ones. Now let's place this little bush right here. Hmm. I think I might use it to fill out the back space right here. 
There is even less space than I anticipated in there and I feel like everything that I put, I'm putting in there is way too big so I might use a little less of the Salaginella. <laughs> so hard um, to begin with because I, I just think it's too bushy and too big and it won't look as nice probably also really hard to handle anything in there and I wish I wish I had those giant tweezers that they all have to like do this professionally I just have like some sticks and and some brushes which is already a start but it's not it's not as good as the big tweezers this is so hard <laughs> I swear oh my gosh it's looking like a mess but I think it's one of these trust the process type of things where in the end it will look good but as long as you're doing it it's it's not I feel like I needed to raise the soil level a little bit more because I was already planting everything in and then it would be impossible for me to fill in the soil afterwards so rather than potting the plants up just press them into the substrate I think this is much better now now just going to stab it like into the soil basically now the stone again I know you fit in there I am butchering these poor little plants I really hope that it's not too much stress for them and they just all die because I feel like I'm handling them so roughly I'm just going to do a time lapse or something because this is taking way too long This is <laughs> it's just turning out to be really hard which is nice because you do something challenging but also it is not easy at all and I think I already did a lot of things wrong so maybe just take this video as an inspiration rather than a tutorial it's looking a little bare at the moment okay and I want to have like two stories to the terrarium so I'm trying to build like this back layer which is a little bit higher and then I want to have a little bit lower front layer yeah I guess now I'm placing a little wooden stick which is supposed to look like a little fallen tree or something I think I want to plant the phytonias in there they have giant roots and just put them into the front somehow I want to add in some of the living sphagnum moss right here at the bottom layer as well and I'll just try to like pluck it in Okay, so we have the moss layer in front. It will hopefully grow in even more once it's settled in. I think I'm done. I will now clean off all of the leaves, shower it and with this also water it at the same time. I'm happy with how it looks now. And I don't want to disturb it anymore.
it is all nice and clean on the inside i will just clean the outside a little bit and i think it looks amazing i'll give you some close-up shots I will definitely keep you up to date on the community tab or in a future video because I will monitor this closely, see if all of the plants die and just rot on me or if they got way too much stress from my rough handling. I'm so sorry for that once again. <laughs> We have one last very important thing. I have this llama or alpaca, I'm not sure what it is. I'll put it in and then you can decide if I shall leave it in there or not, if you like it or not, okay? So one second. Well, it basically just fits one way, so... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, this is my little llama in the terrarium i i don't think it's it's it so <laughs> please just tell me that you don't like the llama and i should take it out thank you because i think it looks a little bit more elegant without the llama or alpaca whatever it is <laughs> let's chat leave me a comment and let me know what you think keep it or throw it out <laughs> for me plants are all about this just doing those projects trying something new being creative and i love that i can share it with you so thank you for your company if you're interested in even more diys or more planty projects i'll leave this playlist right here I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy your plants and goodbye!